I think in ski photography, I'm just trying to communicate the feeling that I have when I'm out there. Everyone is going skiing to feel free and have fun. How can we share that with as many people as possible? Grew up in Virginia and was shooting anything and everything that seemed interesting at that time in a Virginia suburb. When I came to Colorado, it was a pivotal moment for me in terms of how I viewed photography and what I thought I could do with photography. The coolest part of my job is getting to experience the world in this like super intimate and beautiful way. It opened my mind and it changed my life. On any given year, I'm bouncing from Wyoming to Utah to California to British Columbia, but it feels really special to come back to Colorado where all this began for me. We're here and planning to work with Svea Irving. Hey, I'm Svea Irving. Really talented half-pipe skier. I got into skiing when I was, I don't even remember, I was so young. I'm so used to just competing for myself, like in the half-pipe, so being able to do like a collaborative thing like this is really fun. Good morning. Good morning. It snowed. Let's go. Exciting day. Yeah. Good, how are you? Good to see you. Svea has this super fun and creative style and coming from the U.S. ski team, just like super inspiring. And I couldn't think of anyone better to go ski around a basin with and try and get photos. <laughs> is it challenging when the light is like this? This is definitely more challenging, but I feel like we have like cool, it's a little bit of a different energy because there's like these clouds coming in and out. Yeah. Like that like, peak showing, cool. that looks spectacular. Yeah, no. And I feel like we'll get some pockets. Yeah. We can go window shopping. <laughs> window shopping. <laughs> shooting on the mountain is so different than shooting in the half pipe. There's so much that goes into it, seeing if like a natural feature will go, and if it'll look good on camera. So I, I'm envisioning like, I'll be somewhere like here, and let's just try it. I'm good, Sam. Okay, dropping. <laughs> when you're setting up shots, you try to do all these things to like nail the placement. So the skier knows like where the apex of the turn or where the main point of action should happen. Yeah, what do you think? I think I'll take off like right. Like right above that one. Yep. For it to all come together, it's good lighting, it's good snow, it's a good mountain, it's a good athlete. And some of them are in your control and some of them are not. I'm kind of like looking for shots that are almost like landscape photos first. They kind of like show like the terrain. Show the terrain, yeah. show just like association with you in the landscape. I think the most challenging thing about shooting is the weather. Oh my God, hang on. There's so many days when it is not ideal to be outside at all and you're like out there with your equipment and it's just getting so, so hard and it feels so unique to ski photography. All those variables, if they work, you can create something super exceptional. All right, Svea, drop when you're ready. <laughs> The... Like a little broken clouds. The light hitting everywhere but where we were. <laughs> Waiting for the window to come. To... Sometimes it doesn't go as planned. When I review photos from the day and they don't line up to what my expectations are, it's just motivation to try again. It's often going on a vibe. Like a good day on the mountain, there is this contagious energy that is felt. One of my favorite parts is that on any given day, you know that days, right? all these other photographers Yo. across the country are out shooting on their own mountains. Good morning, AJ. Hey guys, set the cats here with my buddy Ben Good. It's about to go find some good snow and get some awesome shots. I am at the bottom of a little jump right now. So let's see how this goes. I think seeing people out there trying their different things will stay out. It's super inspiring. There is this special feeling that skiing brings. It's my community, it's my job and profession, and it's also this beautiful form of self-expression. I want the ski industry to be a place that uplifts, includes, and accepts everybody. I think the more the merrier. Yeah. I think as an openly gay man, I feel like part of that representation. Snow stash. Snow stash.
Today we're shooting partially in the steep gullies, which is this like super steep, dramatic terrain. There was like one little pocket of light left. In those types of situations, you have to have that like good communication in your positioning of where the skier goes. Being new to working with Svea, it's good to have had a few days where we were able to like develop a trust together. That's what we ski. Pretty crazy. This process with the athletes of this communication. Oh, so close. It can be either built in time or sometimes it feels like you hit it off and it works. Fulfilling each other's creative visions together is a really fun feeling. Being able to come out here and just do something completely different that I haven't really done and I'm not like super comfortable with has been really fun. Always have fun shooting with you. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. That was, bad. That was the sick one, actually. You blew that up. If you're going to drop into the pipe, like, can you have to pick one? You have one song. All right. We love that answer.